welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be testing this cheap lithium 100 amp hour battery that we purchased online for 322 dollars australian uh if you'd seen in the previous video we uh ran this domestic fridge at uh, three degrees and it ran for 71 hours before it cut out um, but it actually cut out before the BMS cut the battery out. So uh, we still had a bit of power left in it. So today we're gonna be doing a test and if you haven't already seen the videos, we've done it with other branded batteries. Um, and we're gonna be running it on a freezer setting, minus 18, uh, just to see how long this battery will run it for. Now, previous videos, uh, we've ranged from like a $600 to lithium, up right up to fifteen hundred dollars and they've all ran for between the 50 and 60 hour mark so it'd be interesting to see the cheapest lithium i could buy in australia um, and just see how well it performs now the fridge test that we've done uh in the last video it ran for 71 hours so not too bad, but the, the readings were quite weird. So what I've actually done is I've purchased a brand new shunt and a digital display and rewired it all in. And uh, I've fully charged this battery and we'll see how well it goes. So as you can see, 13.6 volts, battery was fully charged and I've let it rest for 24 hours just to get its natural stable voltage. And uh, yeah, we'll switch the freezer on. 30 degrees right now here in Perth, Australia. So it's pretty warm outside. And we'll set that right down. Minus 18, there's nothing inside. And like all the other tests, we're gonna just be opening and closing the lid as much as I can throughout the day to try and make it real well conditions. And we'll see there, 13.6 volts, uh, we'll pull in. 12 milliamps right now. Uh, compressor's switched on obviously, so it's 1.5 amps. So yeah, we've started the timer. I'll get back to you after 24 hours and we'll see how it's going. We'll get back to you soon. Cheers. So it's been just over 24 hours. We are 24 hours and 50 minutes. Uh, we're sitting at 13 volts and uh, capacity we've used 32.3 amp hours of usage so uh, so far so good um we'll just keep doing what we're doing minus 17 on the freezer and we're just going to keep opening closing the lid throughout the the time compressors just kicked in 1.5 so uh yeah i'll get back to you in another 24 hours and we'll see how we're going cheers it has cut out freezer is shut off We've got nothing at all. Let's see how well it performed. So, 43 hours and 55 minutes it ran that 45 litre fridge on a freezer setting. Um, but interestingly, we've only consumed 55 amp hours. Um, voltmeter is reading 0 0.83 so the bms has cut in that's built into the battery to uh, to cut the power to protect the cells so it's good to know that that actually works but we've only actually used 55 amp hours from a 100 amp hour battery so i'll let you uh make your own minds up on that one um so if you haven't checked out my other videos we've done another two different lithium batteries one was a giant power 100 amp power and um that was double the price of this one so that was like 690 dollars delivered and um that actually ran the same test it done over 60 hours and we done the same test again on a dcs which is over east of australia and uh that was 110 amp hour at $1,450 and that ran for exactly 60 hours. So the giant power so far has done really well. Uh, this one was obviously 322 bucks, cheapest chips, but at the moment it's proving to actually only be half the capacity of what it's advertised. So I'll just show you on the multimeter, 0.8 of a volt. So the shunt's reading correctly. 
Uh, we used a new shunt as well and uh, exactly the same results. After that video, I put the battery on charge overnight and as you can see there, we're on final stage uh, storage mode and the battery is at 13.5 volts. Uh, took 13 and a half hours to fully charge. And as you can see there, uh, we've uh, put 54 amp hours back into the battery and the we used 55 amp hours before the BMS cut it out. So it just shows that the shunt's reading correctly. Um, we discharged it by 55 amp hours and we've replaced it with 54. So, I'll leave it up to you guys what you think. Um, so far, I'm a little bit, I'm not disappointed. It, you, you get what you pay for. Um, but I was hoping, I was quietly hoping that it was gonna perform a little bit better than this. But we'll continue with all the other tests and we're gonna do a tear down of this battery and have a look inside and see. And um, But yeah, we'll check all that out, see the quality of it and see what you actually get for your money and is it actually worth it. So uh, we'll continue with these tests and um, we'll, we'll go from there. So uh, I'll get you on the next video and like, subscribe if you haven't already and check out my other videos. And um, yeah, this is not technical scientific um, tests. This is just real world, see how long it'll actually run a fridge for, um, just to help you guys out to make an informed decision on your next purchase. So um, yeah, so to all the the trolls, it's this isn't scientific. This is, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible just to help people out. And I hope it does help people out. So um, yeah, we'll get on with the next video. Cheers.